welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. guys something happened last night and it was I completely passed out it is like 8 40 and I just woke up like this is crazy rare and guess who is up before me hi him he is never up before me this guy on the other hand Bubby Bubby. Bubby. Hi. Steven went to Panera, which is right up the road, and got some coffee and some bagels. So, I am going to eat some breakfast, and then I will catch up with you in a minute. I just finished up breakfast, and I really do love that tree. I'm so glad we did that yesterday. Um... So let's go ahead and open some advent calendars and see what we got. Do, 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 do. Also, I forgot to tell you, last night I had the chocolate macaroon, um, the chocolate macaroon tea from David's Tea. So stinking good. It was so good. We are looking for day three. And look, it's right there. I couldn't have timed that better. Oh, is that cute? It's a little... Oh, that's even cooler. So it's a tea light holder and a tea light. It says rituals on it. I'm going to use this at my bath. Oh, and it smells so good. Can you tell me what the scent is? Like the first advent candle... On the first can on the first Sunday of December to inspire hope. <gasps> that is really cool. So we'll be lighting this tonight. That is awesome. Rituals. I love this advent calendar. That is so cool. It smells amazing. I don't know what the scent is, but it actually reminds me a lot of Bays from Diptyque. I think it's like a really good dupe. Day three of David's tea. Oh, I thought that was the three, but it's the eight. Day three. Here we go. Put it in backwards. And this one is, oh my goodness. Strawberry rhubarb parfait. Well, that sounds amazing. Mellow Paradise. Let's see what it smells like. Mmm, it's fruity and really citrusy. So I smell like grapefruit and orange. Faux de Bois, Stephen's favorite. This is Stephen's favorite. It smells like a fire. We actually bought a huge one of these when we were in Paris. Um, last February. If you like like a fiery, smoky, woodsy smell, um, Faux de Bois is the tea candle to go with. It smells like you're, you have a fireplace going. Babe. Yeah. Diptyque was Faux de Bois, your I favorite. Faux. I love Faux de Bois. Bubba's, you missed the advent calendar opening. Why are you so, really? That is disrespectful. I'm a boss story. The mailman just dropped off an Amazon order. Um, it's nothing special, but in case you're interested um, for this holiday season, just a red, just a red simple scarf. And then what I'm actually really excited about is a hot water bottle, just to have like when you're laying on the couch or just 
for anything. But this one is fur. Oh, it's so soft. And then the hot water bottle is right inside. But like what's nice is this is all elasticized so you can take it off and clean it as needed. And the nozzle's right on top. So just a really great hot water bottle for the winter. I got a hot water bottle. Good, because I thought you said a swell bottle. Swell bottles are a source of contention in our household. So I will show you. It is actually pretty bad and I think one or two are actually at work. So this is my Swell Bottle collection. We have Palm, the Black, the Space One, Iridescent, the Arrows. This is like the Marrakesh line. This was called Tuxedo. It's like a black bottom. Yeah, these are so cute. The, this Tortoise One and Snake One I really love. And then these are the Swell brand from uh, Target, it's called Sip. And then I have three more at work, which is like a Birchwood, a different version of this, and then the large marble one. I have a swell bottle issue, and I love them. And I use them every single day, and I will continue to buy them. I skipped the gym this morning because I haven't gone for like an all out run in a while, so that's what I'm doing today. Just gonna run, and yeah. I'll let you know how far I got and all of that. It's 10.30. It's so rare that like I'm starting life this late. I can't believe I slept until almost nine. All right, time to hit the road. And I'll be listening to Kelly Clarkson and Taylor Swift's new CDs in a mix. So catch you after my run. I did four and a half miles. I purposely picked a route that had like a lot of inclines. Um, and because it had so many inclines and like sustained hills, my goal was just to hit like nine minutes and 45 second pace. And I ended up doing an average of nine minutes and 12 seconds a mile. Um, and what makes me the happiest is like, my last miles were actually some of my strongest. I have to get ready relatively quickly because it is almost time for my haircut. All right, I'm gonna go get cleaned up and then Go get this mop cut. I'm cleaned up from my run. I used that Aesop cleanser and toner that Helen sent me from Australia yesterday. I love it. I love it so much. It was awesome. Helen, thank you so much. I'm obsessed with it already. I love the smell. My face feels so clean. Um, it looks good too. Um, I have an appointment to go get my hair cut and I've really dressed up for the occasion. I'm wearing sweats, some Adidas runners. I don't even care. I am back from my haircut. I love it. It looks so good. My skin looks so healthy. Um, what's interesting is after my haircut was over, I was getting ready to like go pay. And um, the lady who was cutting hair next to me, she goes, you are the most positive person and you need to come in here all the time. And that my friends is the benefit of being positive and kind to everyone is that people want you around them and that you make the space better and people feel good about you being there. And all I did was just talk and ask people about themselves and it was great. Um, but I have two things to share with you that I, uh, actually Steven picked out, but I told him what to get. So we have the most amazing greenhouse literally less than a mile away. And we got two of the most beautiful poinsettias. So let's go ahead and open them up. I got a large one for the, um, well somewhere. And then another one. Let's go ahead and open up this large one. And what's great about this place is that you can decide what color you want them wrapped in. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look how beautiful this is. It is absolutely perfect. Look at that. Let's go ahead and fluff it up a little bit. Oh, it's so fantastic. And then we got this one too. Oh, <laughs> that could have been a disaster. We got a beautiful red one and a beautiful white one. Babe, you did good. They look really nice. 
So let me go find a place for these in the house. And then I'm gonna make a sandwich, grab a Christmas movie out of my Christmas movie collection, and, um, and, um, relax for a little bit. I put the white one here for now, just so we can enjoy it. And then the big one, I went ahead and put right there for right now. It works. And then I just turned on the trees. And then, oh, I am so, I'm so happy with that red tree. It looks really good. I love it. I really like having them in those two spots too. I feel like I thought they would be too close, but it really works. Maybe you finally found your uh, go-to decorating. Maybe. And what are we gonna watch? So I have like all my Christmas movies in like this middle section. And I really want to watch The Family Stone. Um, look how great that tree looks! All right, so I'm gonna make a sandwich. Uh, get the movie started and I'm gonna chill out while Steven and Baba is probably sack out. out. And then what are you doing with the vegetables? So what do you think I'm doing? You're gonna go feed the deer. So what Steven does with the vegetables at the end of every week is he feeds the deer. <laughs> he loves to give back. While I watched The Family Stone, I used this hot water bottle. I made the water in my smeg, um, and I love this thing. I told you I forgot <laughs> to share what book I'm reading currently. I'm reading Hope at Christmas. You know that I'm giving uh, my infinite agenda away. I'm actually gonna start working on this during Vlogmas next week, getting it ready for January. But Raquel reached out to me this week and has offered a 10% off a My Infinite Agenda. I'll leave the link down below. I will leave the discount code down below. I thought it was so amazing that she offered that because she was so pleased with the video, which I'm so honored and humbled. A, that they gave us one to give away, but just that um, the collaboration with her has been so easy. And also I will leave the giveaway video down below in Vlogmas as well so you don't miss it because you can go um, check it out and make sure you're entered in the giveaway because I have a blush pink one that I will announce the winner on Friday. So yes, 10% off, which is an awesome deal. And I will leave it all linked down below. The company Luxury Scentbox reached out to me and asked if they could just send me a sample. But this is the box it comes in. It's a $15 a month subscription service um, and I do believe right now on their site they're running the first box is 50% off. This is really cool. So there's like this little travel tube and what happens is you get your fragrance which it is a really nice size. Like this would last me a while and you stick it in the container and then you can literally twist it down so you can travel with it. So all these little selections you get you could put it in this travel container. That is incredible. So not only did they send me four fragrances, they actually sent me four of their travel tubes. So I have a all black one. I have a black one with gold. I have this black one with blue and then the black and silver. And they sent me four fragrances that I can put into any of these and I can tell that I'm going to love some of them. This is like a really nice gift, especially with the 50% off right now. It's a great gift for someone who loves fragrances. It comes beautifully packaged, and like I said, like these little travel things are just awesome. So um, my next favorite is this one, so I'll put it in my next favorite container, because I love the black and black and the black and gold. And then my third favorite, I'm gonna put in silver because that's my next favorite travel container. 
And then my least favorite with the blue, because I'm not a big blue fan, they sent this to me. Um, and I just wanted to give you my first impression of it, but they really match some fragrances based off what I told them that I really, really love. So go check them out. If you're looking for a gift for someone who loves fragrances, this is a great one. It's like 4.30. It's been a really uneventful day and it will continue to be a pretty uneventful evening. Steven and I decided to just stay in tonight and watch the marvelous Mrs. Maisel that we're really enjoying. And he went to grab some Indian food and we're just gonna hang out here at the house and I'm gonna do some prep for work this week. And as he left, I went ahead and got the house ready for the evening. So all the trees are lit. I lit a bunch of really great candles. The poinsettia is out. And yeah, as you can see, everything is lit up for the evening. And I'm catching up on some Vlogmas videos. So I'm watching Lydia Elise Millen right now, who I really enjoy. Yeah, so that is going to be our evening. And I'd love for you to leave any suggestions around any Vlogmas P videos that you're really watching. Um, the fact that you even take the time to watch this makes me so happy. And I can't answer all the comments that we're getting because we're getting, I can't answer all the comments I'm getting, but I'm reading every single one and liking it because it means the world to me. But it's just impossible to film, edit, upload a vlog every day and answer every comment. Um, but yes, if you have any questions, ask them down below. I will try to answer them. I will leave everything linked down below and I will end this like I end every single one of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. 